What's up, guys? So I'm covering the Daniel Robinson case, uh, and I found out a little bit more information. Uh, two weird things of information about. Uh, so he was at a well, like, and I was like, why is why is he at a well? Like, uh, they never really explained it. But uh, I was watching a video from DJ Moore. Uh, he put a video out on his YouTube channel and explains why. He was out, like, I guess at his job, he has to go out and check and make sure the wells are working right. And it's because they're building a housing development there, like a new housing development. So if the wells don't have, like, a hundred years worth of water, they can't build the housing development. So is it possi a possibility, just a possibility that uh, Daniel found something wrong with the well? And it would stop the housing uh, development. So they made him disappear. Because the housing development is a lot of money. And you would not want any reason for that to stop. But then there's also another thing. So off, not too far from where his uh, vehicle was found, there is a sign where they cross over into the desert, and it says, watch out for cartel and freaking guns and drug dealers coming through. Like, not too far from where his car was found, this sign is out there. So, the cartel is running through this area of the desert, and, yeah, that might be why he wrecked his car once. See, what happened was, apparently he wrecked his car. And and that, that you could see that he did one hundred percent wreck his car, and but after the wreck he tried to start the car forty seven times I think, like forty seven times he kept trying to start the car after he wrecked it, and if he's getting chased by like I don't know, the home development company, or the cartel, like it might make sense why you would try to start the car forty seven times. 47 times. Uh, but he eventually got the car started and went 11 miles in the car. Now, I don't know if the 11 miles is from when he got his car started to where they found it. Because a lot of people are saying that where they found it at, and I, I agree 100% that it was staged. Like, somebody just put the car there. Which is kind of weird also. Like, his wallet, his uh, phone, his clothes, his water was all still at the car where the final wreck supposedly took place. But it looks staged to me. But, uh, yeah, the cartel or, or the housing project could have done something to this kid. Well, I guess he's not a kid. He was He's in his 20s. But, uh... That's crazy. It's freaking crazy. Like, any possible thing could have happened. But, I'll see what else I can find, guys. Um, trying to get you as much information on this as I can. Because this happened around the same time Gabby Hanna went missing. Or, Gabby Petito went missing.